All right, this is the uh, Toyota Sienna center rear seat that we found on eBay. It was 300 bucks, which was more than I thought I was gonna be spending for a seat. But um, we were not having any luck and we've been searching on and off for about a year. Um, a few good opportunities passed by us that got away from us. But uh, we need the thing now, so we went for it. So I've never seen a Toyota Sienna on the inside. I don't even know how these seats work. I'm, I'm kind of figuring it out as I go along here. Um, it looks like this spring-loaded bar here um, lifts the seat to sit straight vertical. Um, with the base of the seat straight up, like if the back were folded, kind of the opposite where it's sitting right now, if you will. Um, and so we've got this where we click in between a pin and a pin. And I think once that's clicked in, uh, when you force the seat to lay down, it pushes this in this slot, compressing the spring until the rear clicks in. So I'm, this spring, there's two of them. It's too tight for me to even try to begin to move by my hands. Um, and there's no latch mechanism to it. It's just sp spring. So I'm gonna start out uh, making up a model, piece of angle maybe, and put a couple of 3 8 bolts in it with this spacing, and then see if I can push this thing down and learn the angles and how this thing works and um, how I'm gonna hook this thing up. I'm thinking I'm going to uh, replicate the original Toyota Senna mounting pins that these, there's two here and then the one in the back on the, the final fixture that I get. And kudos to um, the YouTube channel starting from this morning uh, they do a fine job on everything they've done, and they're a good family. It's fun to watch them. And uh, Toyota Sienna seats is what they use for their driver and passenger seat, but um, they got the ones that um, were larger than this with the reclining and the, the little footrest that comes out, the Cadillac of seats. They got some really nice ones. Uh, couldn't find those, but that's okay. So I'm going to start by taking off this plastic piece. This one's broken anyway. Um, and they're both beat up pretty bad. And there's some broken plastic on the back, like where it's sitting right now from being kicked around. But anyway, I'm going to start by taking these off. There's just a screw right there. I think that's all that's holding it, one in each. Then I'll be able to get a better eyeball on how this, this bracket works. And uh, let's let's see what I can come up with. All right, I think I got it figured out. Um, it looks like when you fold the seat down, it uh, will pull on this cable. And that'll release this latch. I'm not quite certain, but whatever pulls on this cable is gonna pull this. I've got it latched right now. I was just experimenting with it. So when you push this down right here, it unlatches like that. So I think it's, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But uh, overall, it's in pretty good shape. <laughs> So, yeah. So, I uh, just dug up this piece of steel angle. It uh, looks like inch and a half by quarter inch. <clears throat> and what I'm thinking I'm going to do <clears throat> is put it like that. This piece happens to be 36 inches long. And it might be long enough to do what I need to do. 
I'm kind of hoping. <clears throat> so this will give us a flat base that we can work with and uh, attach our base, pivot base to. So you can see what we got going on there. Uh, being that this is a quarter inch thick piece of angle, it's got enough structural integrity that I can put a pin in it and weld it on the opposite side that we're looking at right here. And that'll be strong enough to support that. Uh, so what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with this end up here. And uh, uh, install a couple of pins in the end of this so I can compress that spring and pivot this thing all the way around to see how much length we need. And hopefully this 36 inch piece will be long enough. Okay, this is a set of transfer punches. And uh, you can see the, the point on these things. Um, I've got the, uh, what size is this? 25 64ths of an inch. Um, the 3 8 is a little loose in there. I mean, 3 8 would, would probably be fine, but when I look how the 25 64ths goes in there, it it's kind of solid under spring tension from, from this guy when it's in there, and it fits in this side much nicer. So we're going to go with the 25 64ths, which is uh, an odd size I'm going to have to make the pins. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the first pin, which I already had my wife help me. It, uh, it's going to go right there. So we're going to, it's a pencil mark if you can see it there. I'm going to mark that puppy and uh yeah not bad huh i should have left a little bit of slack here the pins are a little bit close together so i'll slot that hole uh about 20 thousandths or so before i weld the pin in these are just stuck in the holes right now it just makes it a little difficult to get this clipped in but this is the, the spring tension deal I was telling you about. When I swing this over there, that's where my rear pin is going to go. And technically, I could just put a rod clear across from one side to the other. That would give me more strength of holding this whole affair straight. I don't have any. Um, it's a larger diameter than this too. I haven't measured what I need for that yet. But uh, I only need 17 inches in length. So I've got enough metal to do what I got to do. I'm very pleased. Um, so I'm going to cut this into two 17 inch pieces. And duplicate this at the end of the other one, making sure Hopefully I don't screw up and get my left and the right's wrong. And uh, then we'll work on figuring out what we're going to do for the rear. All right, it's coming along absolutely wonderfully. Um, I do have the pins a little bit close to each other on one of these. I guess it's that one that was the first one. This one I set uh, 20 thousandths of an inch further and it snaps in there much nicer. So on that one, I guess I'm going to have to, um, probably the best thing to do would be to file out the, the notch in the chair bracket. And uh, so right now, I'm taking a look at how much slope this has. And it might be a little bit too much slope, so we'll have to elevate how high up this bar is in here. Right now, this thing is just sitting on the, on the bottom, which is about... Um, where I got this thing dialed in at, where those are sitting on the bottom. Um, I wanted, I did it on purpose, so this would be the lowest possible height 
because I'm a little bit concerned about once I put the swivel base, it might be higher than we like. So um, I'm going to go get some uh, five and a half inch. I got to double check. Uh, I found the swivel base on Amazon. I think it, they said it was five and a half inches tall. I got to double check that and then I'm going to simulate that height and uh, block the chair up five and a half inches or whatever it is higher on, on these and uh, get the little woman to sit in it and see if she likes the height of it. All right, it's looking really, really good. So I have, right now I have it um, configured four inches of blocking in the front and four and a half inches of blocking in the rear um, just to simulate that I've got the the pin position where uh, it needs to go back there. Actually, what I could do is put a half inch spacer between that L bracket and the seat. It doesn't really make any difference. That's just... So the, the pedestal that I just ordered from RecPro is five and a half inches overall height. And what that does is it, it's just a little bit too high and you can feel your legs kind of dangling a little bit. So what I'm going to have to do is um, potentially come up with a way of making this bracket have a step in it of about two inches, which is conceivable, um, or shorten the pedestal. Either way, it's just a bunch of busy work and some welding. I can do that. Um, yeah, looks good. It's very comfortable and it works out nicely for entry. I could scoot through this little area. Excuse me. Yeah, I could scoot through this little area right here to get in and out of the driver's seat. Right now I have this seat moved forward more than we would normally like it. Um, because you're kind of close to the dash here, leg room wise. Uh, I've got the forward and rear adjusters set all the way to the front and on purpose because I'm just kind of eyeballing how we're going to install this bracket and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really working out very nicely and the entryway right here this is our walk path anyway so that works out really well for us our counter table is going to be over here and that's only going to be a little bit wider than that blue tub maybe like where the tape measure is not even so um, the entryway is just perfectly adequate and uh, yeah, that's, that's really nice. I like it.